This is a video on why we might want to take off the proton from an alcohol in order to make an O- minus or an alkoxide. Let's jump right in. If we have an alcohol, any kind of hydroxyl group on a carbon system, we might want to pull off this H+, plus, this proton. So if you have an alcohol, let's pick isopropyl alcohol. We can pull off H plus with a very strong base. There's two that I think are most commonly used in this situation. One is to take sodium, just the soft silvery sodium metal. You can chop it up into fine little pieces and you can use that to remove the proton. Or another one I often see are the hydrides, something like sodium hydride or potassium hydride. Those also work pretty well for removing the H+. So if you throw in sodium, so if you just remember one, remember sodium metal. If you throw in the sodium, it removes the H+, to make an oxygen. And instead of just two lone pairs of electrons, we have three lone pairs of electrons. So now it has a negative charge. Why would we ever want to do something like that? Well, now this oxygen with a negative charge is a good nucleophile. It's aggressive, ready to go attack something. So what if we gave it an alkyl halide and it can do an SN2 sort of reaction? So I could take this alkoxide. I can then, in the beaker, put another molecule. So let's put methyl bromide, something with a good leaving group. So the O- minus wants to come attack, it can backside attack. My leaving group can leave. So now my isopropoxide, these are oxides, now has a methyl group attached to the oxygen. And we can make an ether. So alcohols can become alkoxides. They can backside attack something with a good leaving group, and they can make ethers. So we can make alkoxides from alcohols using sodium metal. This deprotonation takes a really strong base, usually. Let's look at one other example. We can compare most alcohols. And trying to pull off that proton is very difficult. We know we can do it with sodium. So somebody might write O minus, or they could write Na plus. There's also that swimming around in the beaker. Another alcohol we might want to deprotonate is phenol, a phenyl group with an alcohol. And we find that that is much easier to deprotonate. We can use a base like sodium hydroxide, that old standard base, and it can make the phenoxide compound, a phenyl oxide, phenoxide. And that's very easy to do because this is a very acidic proton. Why is that so acidic? Well, when we make a regular alkoxide, the O minus, the negative charge, has nowhere else to go. It's 100% stuck on that oxygen. But this negative oxygen can move around into this ring through resonance forms. So these electrons could come in, and those could go on to that carbon. And those could go into the ring, and those could go on to the bottom part of the ring. And those can push into the ring, and they could go on to that carbon. So I can move that negative charge over the oxygen and three of those carbon atoms. It's spread out over four atoms. That makes it much happier than if it's all 100% stuck on one atom. 
We know that nature loves to spread out charges and it, it hates having localized, small localized charges like this O minus. So phenol is much easier to deprotonate. A regular base like sodium hydroxide can do it. And we can use this trick in the lab. I could have these two alcohols in a beaker together. I could take some water that has sodium hydroxide in it. Maybe a 10% sodium hydroxide solution. And I could shake it up with these two compounds. This one, since it's not as, as, as acidic, it doesn't have sodium in there. This one just stares at the sodium hydroxide and does nothing. But this one, of course, being more acidic, can react with it. So you get O minus because of this one reacting with the sodium hydroxide. And this one stays neutral. This one then dissolves in water. It would go into this water solution. I could separate these two compounds and I could separate these two things in the lab. That's one way we can take advantage of this. All right, I hope that's helpful that you've learned how you take al alcohols. You can remove the proton with sodium, if it's a regular alcohol, to make an O minus alkoxide, which can then go attack something. Or phenols, we've learned, are also pretty acidic and they can be deprotonated with sodium hydroxide. I hope that was useful. Please subscribe to the channel and watch more of my videos on organic chemistry so I can give you more tips on how to be successful.